Hi, I'm Vashu. Welcome back to the new video. I hope you all are doing great. Basically, in this video, we are going to talk about the seller membership feature app multi vendor for Shopify. So, as we all know about the admin earnings that admin can earn by setting up different commissions for their vendor. But, guys, do you know that admin can also earn by creating different membership plans for their vendor and the vendors can select from them. So basically in this video we will see and check how admin configure the membership plans and create for the vendors and how vendors select the membership plans. But before proceeding please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for the more updates. So let's go to the configuration part from admin side. So guys this is our multi vendor marketplace admin panel. So first you need to install the feature app seller membership from feature app section you need to go to the three dot and then feature app and search for the seller membership as i have already installed in our system or store so it is showing currently active and if you wish to disable you can disable it from here and for the user guide you can check the user guide from here So let's move to the configuration part. Go to the configuration section, then search for the membership configuration. Okay, so the very first configuration is this uh, display membership plan to seller. Okay, so while sign up page you want to show or after the sign up, you can configure it from here. So let's uh, select after the sign up. Okay, if seller payment is due after the last day of payment, what action would you like to take? Uh, you want to disable the seller, you want to restrict product access and you want to disable all the product of the seller. So let's click disable all the product. Okay, if you apply updated plan charges, so for you want to update it for the new seller only or you want to update on all the seller, so let's select on all the seller. The next one is the enable membership seller. If you wish to enable the membership for the seller, you can enable from here. Allow seller to deactivate membership. If you want to allow your seller to deactivate membership on their own, you can enable this tab. The next one is provide membership plan link on the seller dashboard header. So basically, if you enable this tab on the seller dashboard, there will be a link on the seller dashboard for the plans, membership plans. I will show you later and allow membership payment method for prepaid plans, manual payment method. So you can enable it from here. If you wish to auto approve seller manual payment, you can enable from here. And if you want to add a grace period for the manual payment, you can add here just like one or two days, three days. And if you wish to accept the card details before the trial period. So basically trial period when you are creating a new plan for the sellers. There is an option for adding a trial period. So if you wish to accept the card details before the trial period, you can enable from here. Let's disable it for now and click on the save tab. Okay, as we have allowed the manual payment, so we need to let's enter the one day. Of the grace period for the manual payment and click on save tab so your configuration has been done so basically this is a seller so let's move to the membership plan that how to create and how to view the list of the plans so you need to go to the seller section then seller membership plans so here you will get a list of all the plans that you have created. I have created a two plans and if you wish to create a new plan you can create from here. Let's create a new plan. Uh, so the plan name will be test plan. Test plan A and plan subscription you can mon monthly, half yearly or yearly. 
you can create let's create for half yearly for six month plan price it would be ten dollar so you want to add a limit for the product that uh, in this particular plan you can add uh, this much of products so let's add uh, 15 product and limitation include you want uh, all products or only active products only so let's select the active product here billing day if you want to configure it that like a uh, first of every first of day of month as it is a quarterly billing grace period you can enter here the billing grace period like a uh, two days billing payment it's a prepaid or postpaid so let's uh, go for a prepaid first and if you wish to add a trial days you can enter the trial days here just like for two days trial visibility to seller yes and if you wish to position in your list or on the seller dashboard that how it visible let's uh, place it for two if you wish to set a commission by membership plan you can set up here and enter the percentage here like 10 percent 5 percent as per your choice but you need to be very careful if the sales price will be applicable for the new products added after this setting you have to manually update the pricing for earlier product as the commission will be calculated on the new sales price so if you do not update the pricing then the commission can differ for old products if you wish to add additional information you can enter here like a just like a test plan test plan and that uh, we don't want to commission right now set a one time setup fee if you wish to set one time setup fee for sellers by membership plan you can set here the cost and the when you would like to charge after the trial period over or before the trial period will start you can configure here show the customer details to the seller so basically by enabling this option you can allow seller to view the customer details on the make an offer request on the description page and the next one is allow customer to view seller details so by enabling this tab you can allow the customer to view the respective seller details on the offer request detail page so this is all about the creation of new plan and it is a prepaid one so let's uh, create the plan and it is successfully created and let me check the my plan list here and i have created a test plan a currently 180 days means uh, quarterly 10 dollar 15 active products and people and if you wish to view the plan if you want to disable the plan if you want to delete the plan you can do all these functions from the action tab so guys this is all about the configuration from the admin side and the how admin can create the plan so let's move to the seller section that once the seller login or sign up that how they will select the plan and this is about the prepaid plan okay so let's move to the seller side so if the new seller is here then click to the join now seller name oh seller member one okay seller shop name shop email abc at the rate password information password okay. let's create one seller need to select the plan after the entering the details so let's select the test plan A we have created recently. Get now. And once the seller select the plan, it will land to the seller dashboard here. And guys, there is a configuration from the admin side that the link on the seller dashboard. So from here, plan seller can check the plans. They are 
currently active plan and the rest of the plan so guys this is all about the seller membership feature app if you have any further query do write us mail support at the rate and if you like our video do give us thumbs up thank you